welcome to VTeach. In this video, I am going to explain about RVSP subject that is operations on one random variable expectations. So, coming to the contents of the second unit, so it consists of expected value or mean value of the random variable and its properties, the central movements and the movements about the origin. The movements means the immediate applications of the expectation are the movements and variance and skew. These are second order movements, second and third order. Different inequalities which are useful in different applications using uh, probability and random variables that is Chebyshev, uh, Markov, uh, different inequalities like that and the two important functions that describes the uh, moments that is characteristic function and moment generating function and transformations of the random variable. In that there are different transformations like monotonic, non-monotonic, continuous and discrete transformations. So, these are the contents. First, I am going to explain about the expectation that is mathematical expectation. So, when considering this is different from the normal uh, average value. So, it is the expectation is nothing but the average value involves when the probability is there, probability comes into the picture. Average value of the random variable is known as the expected value. So, the other names for the expectation are uh, the statistical average of the random variable x or mathematical expectation or mean value or simply it is called expected value or expectation of x and it is represented with x bar, x bar. So, that is the mathematical representation is expectation of x, E of x. So, this is defined as expected value is related to a random variable. That means average when a random variable is involved. That means it includes probabilities. That means average value can be evaluated as sigma i equals to 1 to n x i into probability of x i. That means if random variable consists of n number of values like x1 to xn and the corresponding probabilities are there. So, then the random variable value into the corresponding probability, the summation of all the all such values gives the average value. In normal average, suppose if we have 10 values like 1, 2, up to 10, the normal average contains the summation of all the values by the number of values 10. This is this gives the normal average value. Similarly, in if probability is involved, similar case we will write x1 into the corresponding probability. That means probability of x1 like that. This is probabilities involved. And if x is a continuous random variable, this expression that is expected value is summation over xi into probability of xi is if x is a discrete value. If x is a continuous, so then we can define the expectation as integral, integral over x into the corresponding density function fx of x dx will be the x bar that is expected value of x. It means these two are the expressions for discrete and continuous. For discrete it is summation that means xi into probability of xi. For continuous values it is integration x into fx of x dx. Let us see one example how to calculate the average value. So, find the expected value of uniformly distributed random variable. So, as we have seen in the last chapter, previous chapter, the uniform density function is fx of x is equals to 1 by b minus a, where x value lies between a and b. This is uniform density function. As we have seen just now, expected value of a continuous random variable is defined as integral minus infinity to infinity x into fx of x dx. Okay. So, in this case what limits the uniform density function exists between a and b only, two real numbers a and b. So, expected value is integral a to b x into fx of x dx, x into 1 by b minus a dx. Since 1 by b minus a is a constant, integration for x that means 1 by b minus a is the density function fx of x into x. Limits are from a to b dx. So, this is the expected value of uniform density. 1 by b minus a is a constant into for x, the integration is x square by 2 and limits are a and b. Upper limit is b and lower limit is a. If you substitute the upper limit and lower limit, you will get b square minus a square by 2. So, that is b minus a into b plus a by 2 into b minus a. So, a plus b by 2 is the average value of the uniformly distributed random variable. Since it is a continuous random variable, we have to use the corresponding density function to find out the mean value. Similarly, expected value of a function of a random variable. 
already we have seen just the expected value of a random variable that is x if random variable is x its corresponding uh, average value is denoted as x bar so which is defined as sigma i x i into probability of x i that means values of the random variable into corresponding properties suppose if a function g of x which involves the random variable a function of random variable is involved its corresponding expectation or average value is represented as expected value of g of x so this is summation over g of x i that means the function value at a real number x i into the corresponding probability probability of x i if g of x is a continuous function g of x is a continuous function then expected value of g of x can be defined as integral over minus infinity to infinity g of x into the corresponding density function f x of x dx okay similar to the normal random variable if function of random variable is involved for discrete function this is the expression for expectation and expected value if g of x is continuous then it involves the density function so the properties if we see the properties of the random variable these properties are useful to understand the mean value how the mean value changes with the different whether it is a function of random variable or a normal random variable so if random variable is a constant that means x equals to a its expectation is also a constant okay that means average involves if the elements of the random variable you are having different probabilities but here if x is constant that means random variable is a constant its value its expected value is also a constant from the mathematical expectation we can find out the expectation is a constant if the function if we write ax a is a constant and x is a random variable expectation of ax we can write this as a into expected value of x okay that means expectation is applicable only for a variable random variable since a is a constant expectation of ax can be written as a into expected value of x similarly if a and b are two real constants any two constants then expected value of ax plus b so in this case a and b are constants only x is a random variable so its value expectation of ax plus b is equals to a into expectation of x plus b because since the expectation is applicable to only the random variable so from the density function we can find the proof of this uh, this property that is ax plus b into fx of x dx expected value of ax plus b can be written as integral minus infinity to infinity ax plus b into fx of x dx this is the expression for this property if we simplify this one x into fx of x dx since a is a constant integration is applicable over x into fx of x dx plus b into fx of x so from the properties of the density function the area under the density function is is equals to 1 so this expression is 1 and this is integral minus infinity to infinity x into fx of x already we have seen this is the average value or expected value of a random variable so it is this is equals to a into x bar plus b x bar is nothing but expected value of x expectation of x so that means from these three properties we can come to a conclusion that expectation is applicable when a random variable is involved if the constant is there in the expression so no need to apply the expectation so if x is greater than or equals to 0 then expected value its corresponding average value is also greater than or equals to 0 so if suppose two functions are of random variable are involved g1 and g2 expected value of sum of two random variables is equals to expectation of individual sum of individual functions random variable functions so let us see an example for a discrete random variable case x values are given as minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 and the corresponding probabilities are given find expected value of x expectation of 2x plus 3 expectation of x square 2x plus 1 whole square so given random variable values are given and corresponding probabilities are also there so find expectation of x expected value of x is simply if it is a discrete one sigma xi into probability of xi so that means random variable values that is minus 2 into the corresponding probability is 1 by 5 plus next value is minus 1 into 2 by 5 plus 0 plus 1 into 1 by 10 plus 2 into 1 by 5 after simplifying this we'll get 
expectation is minus 0 0.3 simply it is expected value of x expected value of 2x plus 3 already we have discussed in the properties of the random variable that is expectation of ax plus b if a and b are constants it is a into x bar that is expectation of x into b this is the similar kind of expression expect expectation of 2x plus 3 where 2 and 3 are constants so this is equals to 2 into expectation of x that is x bar plus 3 already you have calculated expectation of x that is 0.3 so substitute minus 0.3 here so we will get 2.4 as expectation of 2x plus 3 so now expectation of x square x square is nothing but sigma xi square into probability of xi that means random variable values whole square that is minus 2 square into 1 by 5 so here xi values are this one minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 so expectation of x square square of the random variable is nothing but just as we have seen in x, this expectation of x case it is sigma xi into probability of xi in this case xi square into probability of xi xi square means minus 2 square into 1 by 5 plus minus 1 square into 2 by 5 plus 0 plus 1 into 1 by 10 1 square means 1 so plus 2 square into 1 by 5 after simplifying this we get the value as 2.1 for expectation of x square next expectation of 2x plus 1 whole square here there is a function which involves two constants 2 and 1 2x plus 1 whole square first simplify this 2x plus 1 whole square as 4x square plus 1 plus 4x here 4 is a constant so 4 into this becomes expectation of x square plus 1 is a constant plus 4 into expectation of x so expectation of x square already we have evaluated that is 4 into 2.1 plus 1 plus 4 into expectation of x is already minus 0 0.3 so it is 8.2 so in such a way we can calculate the random variable value if random variable and corresponding probabilities are given we can find out the average value or statistical average or expected value or mean value of the random variable so in this way if it is a continuous function we have already seen the example for a continuous random variable how to find the average value in this uniformly distributed function so continuous value continuous random variable means it involves a density function for a continuous one so density function with the help of density function we can evaluate the expected value of x for a continuous random variable so in case of discrete random variable so it involves discrete values of the random variable and the corresponding probabilities so with this expression that is sigma i xi into p of xi we can evaluate the expected value for a discrete random variable thank you